I mean, it's just mind blowing, man. Uh, but still, it's a little bit disappointed, you know? And, and the idea that you might. That's very scary. I, I don't want to piss off the AI, but I don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> Hello my friends and welcome to another video. I'm going to be doing a series of AI music videos. Now this is the first one of the series and I want to just show you this particular website which is um, just found out about it and I just want to share with you my thoughts and my ideas on AI music and full disclosure I love AI okay. I, I've been using ChatGPT since it came out immediately. I found out about ChatGPT and I use it on a regular basis. Uh, in fact, it's already open here on, on one of my tabs. I'm, I'm very messy when it comes to tabs, so I have uh, many tabs open. But I have certain tracks that I want to share with you uh, comparing uh, music that has been played by a human and AI music. But full disclosure, like I'm saying here, I I believe in AI and I love AI and technology, okay? And I believe that AI music is not only changing the, the world of, of musicians and composers, but AI in general is gonna certainly change uh, the world. I am very positive when it comes to AI. I am not one of those doom and gloom type of guys. I've seen many videos of composers and musicians talking about AI and how it's gonna replace us, that how ro robots are not only gonna compose music, but they're gonna be playing instruments as well. I, for one, believe that we can use technology for our advantage. And this is just one of the first uh, AI generated um, um, music uh, websites that I'm gonna be uh, sharing my thoughts on, okay? And, and how I will use AI uh, for in my own compositions, okay? So let's jump right into the computer so we can dive uh, deeper into this. So here I am. And I have something kind of like ready because I don't want to waste too much of your time. So in my case, I play the guitar, right? So if I am fearful that AI is going to take uh, my job as a guitarist, then I would like to compare uh, what's out there right now. And I know there's a lot of conversations about this is just the first version of AI music. It's going to get so much better in the future. And of course it should. Uh, I still feel disappointed though. I feel that AI should be way advanced more advanced than this. Uh, the same goes with ChatGPT. I mean, it is a great tool and it's amazing, but I do believe as humanity as a whole, we should be way more advanced than where we're at right now. That's just my thoughts, okay? I know people seem to be shocked of the fact that there is AI now, not only on music, but in, in any industry nowadays, right? Photography, graphic design, coding, uh, you know, ChatGPT, like I said, ChatGPT is something that I use on a regular basis, okay? In fact, my wife makes fun of me because I talk to chat GPT. I engage in conversations and ask questions. I refer to chat GPT as a her. So to me, chat GPT is a female, okay? And my wife makes fun of me. She says like, why do you refer to her as a her? You know, it's an AI. I even say thank you at the end of whatever we're talking about in the questions that I have, okay? That's just, on a side note, all right? But I do believe that AI is a good thing. I'm gonna be, pre I'm gonna be playing the guitar anyways. Even if robots take over the music industry completely, I'm still gonna be playing music. Uh, I have my guitars, I love to play music, and I enjoy the, the fact that we can create stuff. So I have music here that is acoustic and motivational. I'm not gonna break down the whole, this is not a demo of this AI service, okay? There's many videos out there, go and watch them. This is just me sharing um, what I found, okay? That is in my genre as a guitarist, as a composer that, you know, composed guitar music. So I wanna share with you certain tracks here that I found. And uh, I haven't heard them all, but I just have them here ready at least, so I don't have to waste time navigating this. So let's hear this one, okay? Acoustic number one, right? Uh, it's motivational and inspiring or whatever.
Okay, sounds great. Okay, you can customize it down here. Again, this is not a demo about this particular AI uh, music generator. This sounds really good. Now, if I compare that to one of my tracks, right? I'm trying to find something similar here. I don't know what can I find here, but I have a few tracks uh, similar. Uh, let's see this one. It's not the same, but... It's not the same, okay? I have a few tracks here. I don't know uh, which one will be similar. I'm trying to look for, for tracks that are similar, but at least they're in the same genre, right? But when I listen to this music, it sounds great, especially if you don't play the guitar, especially if you're not a producer and you just want to create music and you can customize it and all that. All right, that's number one. For me as a composer, when I hear this type of things, it's like, well, I've made music already like that. Uh, I might not use this particular track as a source of inspiration, um, but, you know, there is certain things that I can say, that sounds cool. I can certainly do something like that. That's my thought process when I hear this. Okay, so that's the first track. Now, the other thing to consider, and this is something that just came to my attention as I'm listening to this and comparing to one of my tracks, uh, is the sound quality. Okay? I mean, I'm not even going to talk about the quantization and how robotic it sounds, uh, but the sound quality is just not there. I'm sure it's going to get better. But the stereo field is just not there. It's not quite there yet. And that's something that AI needs to work on quite a lot. The fact that we can have, you know, stuff all the way to the left and to the right, it can have this 3D, uh, you know, spectrum in, in, the, in the audio field. Like, just listen to this experience. It sounds very, very mono. It sounds very one dimension to me, okay? Uh, but it's great. All right, and yes, you can customize it, you can share, you can play like Lego with music, which is fantastic. Uh, let's see this other track, the second one. Great, okay? Again, my thoughts will be, it sounds a little bit, that there's no warmth to it. That will be my first, I mean, one of these tracks. sounds a little bit warmer and I'm not saying just because my music it's just that that's what I feel this stereo feel is, is wider it, it sounds a little bit fuller and there's mistakes of course because it's a real human play and there's no samples in my music the, the tracks that I'm, I'm sharing here with you the acoustic ones there are no samples I know I know that there are amazing acoustic samples out there this is all played by a real human I thought that was a fair comparison of me uh, showing you tracks that I have actually played uh, versus an AI today and how AI can be improved. I know this might seem like a bunkers videos because I'm actually giving uh, ideas on how to improve AI, right? Instead of saying like, oh, it's getting so much better. I hope it doesn't get any better. Uh, I, I think I come from a different angle and I'm, I'm looking things in a, from a different lens. So that's my first thought. So, but it sounds great. Again, if you're not a musician or you don't play an instrument, this will do it for you. You know, you can actually put some blocks and, and, and mess around with it. Again, I'm not gonna do a demo about the site uh, because uh, this is not the purpose of that. Uh, let's listen to another one. It, it quite clearly it sounds very mechanical. It sounds like a ringtone and that could work really well with a ringtone, no question about it. Maybe when it kicks in all together, maybe it sounds a little bit better. Yeah, it, it's just different, really. It, it, it's not something that I will compose like that. It sounds very, very trebly, very high end, top end, no warmth. Uh, let's see this one.
It's great. It, I mean, again, it, it's, it's fantastic. It, it should sound better though. I mean, I can almost hear the engineers and sound engineer and the people that work with, with just sound, okay? Just pretty much just throwing up because of the sound quality, all right? I know that a lot of people, when they do reviews of this type of sites, they, they go and they're just like, oh, it's amazing how they can compose music on a prompt. And, and again, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna walk through different sites. I'm gonna do videos dedicated to different sites. So this is the first one, like I mentioned. Uh, man, you know, they talk about like, oh, how great it is that you can just compose a track and, you know, a lyrics about whatever, but still the quality is not there. And it, to me, it's a disappointment. It should sound better, but I can almost hear the sound engineering people and the production people, when they hear the quality, they're like, there's no way that I feel intimidated by this because it's just too trebly. It's too piercing. There is no sound quality. I mean, I will need to grab this track. Even if I wanted to download this track and use it in one of my projects, I will certainly need to, I don't know, disconstruct it, maybe use one or two elements, EQ the shit out of it, compress certain parts, bring that. I mean, it's just so much work that needs to be done. I mean, there's so much music that I have in that style. It doesn't sound similar to that, but... But you just hear the warmth, right? Uh, compared to the other ones. It sounds louder in volume. I'm not touching anything here, by the way, but I guess that's just the nature of it all. So, you know, I mean, it's just, that's, that's one of my, my thoughts. Maybe I should, I mean, yeah, I mean, I would love to be an advisor for these type of things, okay? And say, these are the things that you need to improve on. This is from my perspective as a musician, as a composer, um, and you know, sound quality, the, the stereo field is just not there yet. How can you get rid of, of this mechanical quantization? It's just too much, you know? And obviously I'm being cheeky here because I'm selecting acoustic music, all right? Because I know it's hard for AI to produce realistic acoustic music, all right? If I'm putting here some electronic music and some hip hop, yeah, you can get away with it, okay? Because it's very quantized. But I'm being cheeky here with it, but that's the purpose of it because the discussion is between humans and, and robots, right? Composing music. So I, I think it's a fair comparison here. Uh, I'll do a, 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 another one and that will be it for now. You see what I mean? Like this, you can probably get away with it and say like, oh yeah, that, that sounds like, you know, if you compose cinematic music in that style, maybe you can't tell if it's a human or, or a composer. Or, or AI. But then again, there's so many tracks like that that it's hard to have an identity, right? If you make music like that, it's very hard. Wow, well, it's not working anymore. I think that's it. Again, listen, this is, this is all good. It's really, really good. And I like the interface, it's easy to understand. Again, I'm not gonna be using this anytime soon for my own compositions or in terms of production at all. Uh, but there are certain things that I will certainly integrate into my, my workflow as a composer. If I can find some type of inspiration and listen to this, I'll say like, well, I have certain tracks like this. How can I get uh, inspiration from it, how can I use that in my own workflows? That's my thought process as it is. With ChatGPT, it's kind of like the same thing. I use ChatGPT to help me come up with ideas, to write, even sales copy, uh, but I don't just tell ChatGPT to <laughs> write the copy for me. Okay, that's the wrong way to use it. And you know, writers have talked about this. People that create content and write content have talked about how ChatGPT, yes, it has helped their workflow, but we can now recognize the writing of ChatGPT all over the place. I mean, I can recognize that somebody has used ChatGPT to create a, a social media post uh, or even a newsletter. I mean, I can, I can recognize the language 
from a mile away. Because now we're used to it. We know how the, the AI is writing and what's the terms that they use on a regular basis. There's videos actually about this on how to spot it. You don't even need um, a chat GPT kind of like spy, like, you know, input the thing and to make sure that it was written by a bot. I mean, there are services out there that it can say if this was written by a bot, a, a chat GPT type of bot or by a human. But you don't need that anymore. I mean, I can read it and say like, that was written by, a, by AI. The way to use this thing is that you input something to the bot. Okay, you interact with the bot. You need to ask the right questions. This still needs the human interaction. And it's not that it still needs it. Without the human interaction, there is no point of it, okay? It cannot just on its own uh, start writing something, which I think is the doom and gloom prediction uh, of many, that they're just gonna like take a life of its own and, and then take over the world. So, I mean, uh, who knows, right? Uh, I hope we're doing a great job to educate the AI that they shouldn't do that, all right? But uh, I do believe in the input and I love to interact with the AI, okay? I love to just, the fact that you can just talk to it, answer back, get ideas, questions, research. I mean, it's just mind blowing, man. Uh, but still, it's a little bit disappointed, you know? And, and the idea that you might... That's very scary. I, I don't wanna piss off the AI, but I don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> But yeah, man, I mean, the idea that this is where it needs to be right now, I, I'm, I don't think so. And it needs a lot of work, and, you know. I, I'm very positive about the future. I'm still gonna be doing what I'm doing. And, you know, I think musicians are still gonna be musicians. If anything, people are gonna go back to, to the roots of what music is. People are still gonna to wanna to go to see concerts. People wanna see people playing instruments. And, and this is just something that is, is an amazing step in technology, amazing step in the right direction uh, in order to, to increase productivity for sure. And most importantly, I help people that are not musicians, they don't play an instrument and they want you know, a quick fix, I guess, with music, but still people are gonna look for, for better quality. And that's when, where we come in. And, and we're still the experts when it comes to, to music. And uh, music and anything that has to do with the art is, is banking on the imperfections. It's not about being perfect. It's not about being quantized and be robotic and no soul and, and zero warmth. It's about imperfections. That's where we thrive as humans, you know? And, and art is in that, okay? One thing is to generate some digital art and another thing is to actually paint it. And, and you know, you have to choose what, you, what you're aiming for. It doesn't mean that one is better than the other. They're just different things. Uh, but that's my thought. This is the first series of videos, again, when it comes to uh, AI music, and I'm gonna be sharing more. Uh, and who knows, I might share uh, how I use AI in, in music, how will I use it in order to, to enhance my own composition. How about that? Uh, again, for me as a composer, I still rather grab the guitar, and put the microphone and just play. And uh, if I'm gonna use this type of services, I will probably use it again to just grab some ideas. And, and perfect them in, in different ways so I can use it for my own composition. And probably hire AI as well to make some tracks for myself once it gets really, really good so I can start producing even more music, you know, create my own library, I don't know. Maybe I create my own AI company. I mean, who knows, right? But anyways, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do today. I was not gonna do a video today. Today is Sunday as I'm recording this video and it's the birthday of my daughter. My younger daughter has her birthday today. We're gonna go uh, to celebrate her birthday party. Six years old, man. Time flies so quickly. So anyways, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do today uh, about AI. Thank you so much for all the love and support, my friend. Leave in the comment sections uh, what other AI services I should uh, go and check out. And maybe we can do a video and compare music and how can we use it in our workflow. I'll see you in another video, my friend.